All right, good morning. Uh, my name is Costa Constantinidis, and I am chair on the Committee on Environmental Protection. This morning, we're joined by committee members uh, Rafael Espinal from Brooklyn, Steve Levin from Brooklyn, and on my right, Councilmember Donovan Richards from Queens and Councilmember Eric Ulrich from Queens. Uh, today, we will hold a vote on a bill and on a resolution designed to, to protect our climate. Uh, this includes a cleanup of intro 1253C, known as the Climate Mobilization Act, and Resolution 864A, calling for a declaration of a climate emergency. Uh, 1253C was the largest reduction of carbon policy ever in any city. Uh, by calculations, it will be the equivalent of taking more than a million cars off the road by 2030 and creating uh, measurable decreases in nitrogen oxide, sulfur oxide, and particulate matter that foul our air and contribute to higher average asthma rates. It will put our biggest and dirtiest buildings on a path of meeting a 40 percent reduction by 2030 and an 80 percent reduction by 2050. It will also lead to the creation of thousands of good middle-class jobs that will pave the way for us to grow a 21st century green economy. Uh, this bill uh, that I was the lead sponsor, 1253C, is the product of years of hard work in conjunction with administration, building owners, architects, energy efficiency experts, climate scientists, activists, and builds on a decade's worth of work that began with the passage of local laws 84 and 87. New York City's buildings account for about 70 percent of our greenhouse gas emissions, and more than half of all built square footage in the city is in the buildings 25,000 square feet or over. The 50,000 largest buildings targeted by this bill, just 1% of the city's floor space, constitute almost one-third of the city's overall emissions. Contrast this to the city's stock of one to four family homes, which represent 82% 82 of, 82 of the total floor space, but only 19% of the emissions. That is why we had to start the conversations with these large buildings, because frankly, that's where the emissions were. Restoring a safe and stable climate requires sweeping uh, transition to clean energy systems that center on equity and justice and solutions. It is vital for our future. It's on us now. Here on this committee, we have an opportunity to set the table for what is potential to be one of the most transformative moments in the history of our city. When our grandchildren look back on this time, they will ask us what we did to ensure that they will have a sustainable climate in their old age. This ensures that we you know, we can tell them we did our part. Nearly 400 cities, districts, and counties across the world, representing over 34 million people collectively, have recently declared or officially acknowledged the existence of a global climate emergency, including Hoboken, San Francisco, Berkeley, Los Angeles, Montgomery County, Oakland, Richmond, and Santa Cruz in the United States, Bristol and London in the United Kingdom, and many cities in Australia, Canada, and Switzerland. And New York City is the largest city in the United States, can, act, can continue to act as a global leader by both uh, converting to an ecologically, socially, and econo economically regenerative economy at emergency speed, and by organizing this transition to renewable energy and climate emergency mobilization effort by declaring a climate emergency and taking accelerated actions needed to address this emergency. I recommend a yes vote on my bill. Uh, and on our resolution declaring a climate emergency. We're also joined today by Councilmember Yeager from Brooklyn. If the clerk can please call the roll. Thank you. William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote committee on environmental protection, um, pre considered introduction, and, and resolution 864A, Chair Constantinides. Vote aye. Espinal. I vote aye. Levin. Aye. Richards. Aye. Yeager. Mr. Chairman, may I be excused to explain my vote? Absolutely. Thank you. I intend to vote aye on these two items here in committee today. Uh, however, as I understand it, uh, following uh, this committee meeting, uh, these bills will be reported to the full council to be voted on at today's stated. At today's stated, I will not be able to vote aye uh, on these two items for the following reason. Under Section 36 of the New York City Charter, the bills uh, that we vote on at a stated meeting of the council are required to be laid on the desks of the members seven days prior to the adoption by the council exclusive of Sundays. These two items were not laid on the desks of the members of the council. I know that because when we walked in here on Wednesday, 
uh, the last day for laying bills was Tuesday night, uh, there was nothing on the desks of the members of the council. That's just not, not just my opinion, but you can check the Wednesday uh, video of the stated that we had here uh, in the chambers of this council, and you'll see that the members' desks had no papers on them. That's not because uh, the members' desks just had no papers on them. I assume nobody broke in here in the middle of the night and stole the papers off the desks of the members. It's because the bills were not properly laid. So um, when a bill is not properly laid, I don't believe it's properly before the council, my suggestion would be to report this, uh, these two items out of the committee and to have them placed on a stated agenda for a future stated meeting, hopefully the next one, because they are two very important items. However, they will not be properly before the council today. So I will vote aye on both items, on the coupled uh, items on the agenda, Mr. Clerk, um, but I will not be able to uh, vote on them today at uh, the stated. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. Ulrich. I vote aye. aye. I vote of six in the affirmative, zero on the negative, and no abstentions. Both items have been adopted by the committee. Councilman Yeager, thank you for bringing that to my attention. I'll just say this, that I, I was negotiating with staff late at night on Tuesday, and if they were not here laying bills on desks, I'm not sure if they have that much free time to be speaking from their homes. So I, I, I take them at their word that they were here laying bills. The, but thank the you, videos, sir. The videos back up that there were no documents okay. on the desk Wednesday morning when we walked in here for the stated. Okay, thank you. I appreciate it. With that, I think we have everyone. I'll gavel this. <laughs> Gavel this closed. Thank you very much.